Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to another weekend series here on the Simicraft Let's Play channel. Today we are playing The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So yeah, I've actually had this game for a while now, I haven't actually got a chance to play it yet, but I figure, hey, might as well experience it with you all. Uh, now as for my experience with the series, it is, uh, uh, nothing. Like, I'm aware of it, but I've never actually played an Ace Attorney game, but, uh, saw this... I think this game was on sale a little while back, and I couldn't resist. I think it's like a two-pack of games. It seems like a pretty good value. So, figure, hey, surely this should be a fine game to uh, jump in with, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the show. But uh, let's get into this. Uh, let us select an adventure, I guess. A new game, I guess. Fairly pretty, uh, the Empire of Japan, after opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought so great be... waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. What is it, like the Meiji Restoration? The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. Someone dead? But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. Oh. You got a very shocked murderer here, it would seem, perhaps. Bienvenue à la car carnival? Canaval? I, I don't know. I don't speak French! The 22nd of November, 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of... Judicature? Judish... Judicate... Ju sure. Defendants, antechamber, five. Judicature. Judicature. Okay. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe this is happening. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? Hello? Ah, the bailiff. What? Oh, no, uh, nothing. Save your glares, murderer! Sorry. Wait, am I a murderer? I'm the murderer, drat. What a plot twist. My name is... Ryun's... Ryunosuke? Ryunosuke... Naruhodo. Naruhodo! My name is Ryunosuke... My name is Ryunosuke Naruhodo. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yumei University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now, here I am. Awaiting my trial. That's enough! Oh, this is someone new. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. That's right! Innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. Thanks, lawyer. With a sword. I should my lawyers had swords. Here. Yeah. Technicalities. Look at you! You haven't even graduated yet. My lawyer hasn't graduated yet. That's always encouraging. He's probably doing it pro bono, too. Alright. I wish he's- I hope he's doing it pro bono, because that just means, like, for free, right? <laughs> And yet I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryunosuke? Oh, y yes, of course. Sorry. What are you apologizing to me for? Being a murderer? 
Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Uh, though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. You met a university professor murdered in cold blood by students. But obviously, you didn't actually do it. Did you? Of course not! You, you have to believe me! I, I didn't do it! I'm innocent! I, 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 could, I could never murder someone! Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up, hold your head high. Y you mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Ryunosuke. I hope I'm not butchering these names too badly. Kazuma Asugi, my best friend. Also in his second year at Yumei University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. Odds on this guy dying at some point. In the, like, towards the end of the first act of this game. I'm gonna say... 65 in favor, 35 against. He is even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's... Hold on, what's... Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much, yet. You said exactly the same thing three- oh, you said the exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma! It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I know, I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world? I'm really happy for you, and proud of you, as a friend. There's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. I had to bring uh, about a change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Yeah, got some Anglophiles here. Interesting. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow. Then, partner? And he's gone, fading away. Oh, and the scene did too. It was straight after that. That's when it happened. It's okay, it may have a word. Who's this? Why, well, hello there. Uh, uh, Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well... This case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now. Asogi. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at a university before. Oh, he's a professor, right? I see. I'll go at once, then. I shall accompany you. 
All right, then, Rion's okay. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes. Thanks, Kazuma. Alrighty. Man, I thought this was a game about being a lawyer. Turns out it's just a game about having a lawyer. Much cooler. Uh, this is awkward. If I may. Yes, um, sorry. You must be the defendant. Ryunosuke Naruhodo, I believe. Yes! Yes, that's right. My name is Eugene Nkotoba. I am a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Ah, Professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Osogi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. Yeah, what of it? As such, I feel you should know. N know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asogi has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial... I'm afraid that permission will be revoked and never granted again. Ah. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. What?! Uh, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. Maybe I should fire him as my lawyer, that way there's no risk. But that might look even worse. I had a feeling, uh, Sogi. I have chosen not to tell you. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. He's agreed to defend me? Knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered? What if I actually am a murderer? And get, yeah, or if I'm not, and get, get convicted? Well, I don't understand! Why, why would the government do such a thing? Well, I mean, they don't want to send their most competent lawyers to, uh, you know, go off and study abroad. They don't want to waste such an opportunity on the rabble. The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it! But I... I didn't do it! I, I swear it! I I'm not a murderer! See, the more you say that, the more it makes you sound like a murderer, is the thing. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, have you ever heard of this thing called a, uh, what's it called? A wrongful conviction? They happen, you know, more often than you'd think. I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry? What do you mean? You'll soon understand, once proceedings get underway. Ah, uh, that's ominous. But, uh, th then what should I do? Well... Naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Okay. That's very broad. I'm not sure that's very useful. Right. So. As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. That's right. A shotgun wedding is going to get you out of this jam. Trust me. I do? But what will the question be? That seems uh, you know, rather important. You know, it's the whole thing of like, where do you want to go? Well, or what path to take? That depends on where you want to go. Like, what should I answer? That depends a great deal on what the question was. Does that not? Surely not. Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Of course not. I said, 
you need to avoid a conviction that would be just straight up embracing one. Defendants! Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Ah, uh, it would seem our surreptitious discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? No. Get moving! There's no point in, any in anyone advocating for the likes of you, anyway. Man, bailiffs are mean. This is it. If this trial goes badly, Cosma's dreams of studying abroad are over. And what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so, with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence. The trial that would decide my destiny. Let's do this. Twenty second of November, nine o'clock AM, Supreme Court of Judicature, Courtroom Two. Yeah, I suffer for one. <laughs> uh that's me, I guess, with that crazy bulging eyes. So this is a courtroom? The Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Yeah, they look, uh... uh I'm sorry to tell you this, guys, but that's kind of like... This looks like a dictator, sort of Stalin-style hat. Hmm. Not sure that should be in fashion yet. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll become clear in time. But for now... You need to concentrate, Ryunosuke. It's about to, to begin. Ah, hello, Judge. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunsuke Naruhodo. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. As is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocates. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? Uh, this is it! This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, I say I do. I need to answer quickly. What should I do? Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta grab the bull by the horns. I do, man. I do. The Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I'm standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate for his defense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Okay. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I... I would like to inform the court that... That, uh... I, Ryunosuke Naruhudo, will be defending myself!
you'll be what? What are you playing at, Ryunosuke? Professor Mikotoba told me everything. Er, Professor Mikotoba told me everything just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. Fair point, although my dreams of, you know, living decently will be dashed if uh, I lose, so there's that. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off? No, no, it's not that, really. It's just that, well, you know, there's always chances of unlikely outcomes whenever you do anything, so... Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... Yes, I knew that's how you'd feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Uh, Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in this. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel, really? Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruto-san? Hmm? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I am not confident at all. In fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. Hmm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court. You must have perpetuated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhodo? Yes, Your Excellency! It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? I haven't passed the bar yet, if that's what you're asking. I'm still in school. I'm sorry. He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with a very sim the very simplest of questions. Oh, um, yes! Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I'd care to remember. But, wait. If I answer knowing that I know who the victim was, then they might use that as evidence against me because I, I knew stuff that wasn't public information yet, and therefore, I committed the crime. It's a ploy. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I can't even remember that. What was it again? Yonosuke, let me guess, your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But, but I, I can't even find that! I'm a failure as a lawyer! It's not even, it's, and it's only my first day! It's simple. You can access the court record with a press of R. No idea what I'm saying in context of the universe, but hey, sometimes you gotta break the fourth wall and tutorialize. That's just how it is. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press R for the court record. R as in remember all the things that have been added to the record. Or R as in go to the court record. 
All right, there's no time to lose. Oh, R. This, this is the list of evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead with R. Ah, you'll find details about the victim in here. When you're done, just press B to go back. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, John H. Wilson, 47, the victim of this case. He was a visiting professor of medicine at Umea University from the British Empire. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Now you'd better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section of the court record, then press X to present. Try it now. Yes. The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England invited to Umea University three years ago. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. He's a foreign national, the British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. That wasn't the actual name of an actual treaty from this time period, surely, right? Friendship and Navigation? Hmm. I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Yumei University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? Uh, but I didn't do it. Yes, I held a gun that went off in the vicinity of the professor, as alluded to by that opening cutscene, but I didn't do it, I swear. This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court, therefore, wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. <laughs> in other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Doctor Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. The British Empire. Wow, it's incredible to think. Wait, 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 wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still... I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruto. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? 
State before the court the cause of death. Cause of death. I guess that's from the medical records, right? Well, obviously that was a. Uh... It's okay. Remember that in court every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select present. Do it now. Well, it clears up a university collar pin. It's probably the post mortem report. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. It was caused by loss of blood from a gun shot to the chest. A uh, GSW, a gunshot wound. The bolt did not pass through the victim's body. Yes. Boom. Yes. Um, well. According to this document, the victim suffered a uh, hemor hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile. That's the post-mortem report, I take it. Sorry, yes, that's right. Um, post-mortem report. In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Hmm. Could we have a case of a misidentified cause of death then, perhaps? The door is open at the very least. Oh, I see! As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. Yep, that does look like a gunshot wound. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Fair, I guess. Uh, well, it could be maybe he's like a messy eater and he got like some uh, pepper on his jacket, so it's always possible. Thank you, Council. The court will accept this modern scientific e evidence into the record. The photographic print of the victim has been entered into the court record. A photographic print that shows the victim. He was shot from the front in the chest and subsequently died. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I'm satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better appraise the court with the facts of the case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Uh, this is it then. Huh. I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. Uh, the professor? You mean Dr. Mikotoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me, but that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Ah, of course! He was speaking with me before, he simply said, Kazuma Asagi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Can't be, that doesn't mean he can't be co-counsel. <sighs> he really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe, but any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Only if you rein in that crazy headband and control the cold stairs first. Speaking of which, where's this wind coming from? We're just gonna let that sink in for a second. Okay, moving on. Ah, well, waiter at the restaurant, perhaps? Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course, my name is Satoru Hosunaga. I am the head waiter at a western-style restaurant called La Carnival. <coughs> um, sir, you, you appear to be coughing up blood. Um, are you all right? You seem to be coughing up some, uh... Vampire. 
It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Well, it really, really should. As everyone knows, the capital's southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime scene, or crime rather, occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants in Occidental Eatery three days ago. Understood. Osanaga-san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incidents. At once, sir. Uh, no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Oh, um... Perspiring, maybe, but... Aspiring? It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few dinners at that time of day. Diners, rather. My apologies. The lunchtime rush was over, and there are only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory, but two. There's hardly anyone else in the place. <clears throat> it was when I was in the kitchen putting away crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And sitting immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes. Why would I... H hold on, L let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up a gun that I found lying on the floor, beside the professor, I... I didn't shoot him! Objection! Uh, objection, lack of foundation. I believe I ask you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. But... The next time you interrupt in, at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defendant Naruto. Don't worry, Ryunosuke. You'll have your chance to fight back. At cross-examination, I presume. For now, we just we must just quietly listen to the witness. Ugh. If I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. Yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? No. There was no one else around that table but the deceased Englishman and the university students. Huh? Wait. What did he just say? There was no one else around that table. What's the matter, Yonosuke? That's... that's just not right! Oh, and I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello. There's a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? That's not something the waiter could have missed! I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Well, we gotta wait for cross-examination, right? Gotta wait and see. I desperately want to say something. But I was told not to interject. You're not okay. If your parents tell you to study, you're the kind of man who judges until you get to work, aren't you? I... I suppose I am. I'd never have got into Yume University otherwise. You can't always follow the rules in life, you know. Kazuma, this is a court of law. It's like all about the rules. At least, I, I think that's how it's supposed to work. 
You don't say what you want to say now. You'll seriously regret it when you're found guilty. Uh, all right, you've scared me. I'd forget that piece of advice in a hurry. I guess I can object during there. Okay, yeah, fair enough. And there is something I want to say. I'm just going to shut my eyes and say it. Yes. Why is my thing yes? It seems like that... Uh, well, anyway. Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. But don't, don't we need, like, evidence to back up this claim? Uh, you know, it's just a he said, he said at this point. Dear me, dear me. What are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings, I am beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure of what I saw. Hosanagasan, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy? No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I, I don't believe it! <coughs> I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please, have a look if you'd like to. Let, let me see. Ah, a sketch of the establishment's layout drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right, I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. Well, you're clearly a very conscientious waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, uh, well... Is there a problem? And the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. There's something on the other side of that that he doesn't want us to see. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> something certainly seems to have shaken him. The wager's business card has been entered into the court record. So, the court has now heard a precious pres of the case. Yes, at the moment the gunshot was heard in the restaurant, the only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we're looking at a black and white case here. Uh -huh. Defendant Naruhodo. Yes. Your Excellency. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishments. I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who are present at the scene of the crime. I thought... What? What do you think I should do, Cosma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Maybe we should just take the plea deal. No plea deals. That's, that's how they get you, really. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these peculiarities. You've said it, Professor Mikotoba said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm, I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. The stare says it all, honestly. As I said from the outset, I believe your innocence. I trust you. 
And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face, is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Ryunosuke. Uh... The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm the defense lawyer. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Then we'll see just how decisive this evidence really is. Also, can question, can you, you can't, like, call up a witness that's, like, not, like, sworn in under oath and stuff, right? It's like... At the very least, it wouldn't be admissible in court, surely. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but that that's, seems to be like that would be the case. Any lawyers in the comments, you know, straighten this up for me, I'd appreciate it. Indeed. Prosecution Archie, please continue with the proceedings. Well, you were warned. The young can be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint, but I can be a devil when I want to be. Uh. In a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck young mouth of yours will be silenced forever! The prosecution calls as the next witness is... Very well. Officer, bring forth the witnesses at once. Wait, what? Am I hearing this right? Witnesses? I thought you only did, like, one at a time. Yeah, they're probably gonna go one at a time. It's fine. 